Initial lessons were designed in 2000 year with an online curriculum, conceptualized and researched by Judith Budstein at the Pitt Museum in Glendale, Arizona, no longer in operation. That 2000 curriculum was written with Tisla Jauregui, artist, philosopher, and art educator now living in New York City. The completed unit was reviewed and edited by Dr. Mary Stockrocky, Arizona State University Art Education and Research Professor Emeritus. Hello, my name is Oliverio Valcells. I'm a multimedia artist. I'm from Guadalajara, Mexico, and I'm a board member of the Cultural Arts Coalition. It's an honor for me to talk to you about the Huichol or Huirarica culture. You will enjoy and learn from this amazing, beautiful, and ancient culture from Mexico. Thank you. The expected learning outcomes and methodologies presented in this video are project-based and practical, preparing participants of all backgrounds and ages how to examine and explore information, ideas in cultural context through our making visual, musical, performance, and written. It is desired that a discussion will be facilitated by a teacher during a follow-up critical inquiry dialogue with the viewers. A unique, visually stimulated and informative Wichol beaded and textile art video that reflects a way of life, the Wichol way, a way of celebrating the lives that are historically centuries old, a culture surviving in the modern world. The Wichol history presented in this video also documents for public awareness the politically fearing Wichol people and their struggle for preservation of their cultural heritage. The Wichol ongoing narrative is promoted through the current commercial sale of beat, textile, artifacts, and research studies concerning the Wichol's cultural importance to all persons on this planet to save the earth. Discussion will continue identifying the universal value of symbols in beadwork and yarn paintings, which relate share human concerns not only with the Wichol culture, but also in many indigenous societies around the world. The Wichol, until recently, had no written language. These symbols are means to communicate history, myths, and ways of daily living in many diverse traditional cultures. Each student will design their artistic stories composed of one choosing symbols. The main goal of this video is to stimulate the integration of art history and art making studies as a means of awareness that is relevant and significant in anyone's life. Valuing your cultural background and practicing art making techniques assist one to reveal your story in visual art form, celebrating your journey. In this image, Gloria Martinez, Reggie Casillas, and Oliverio Valcells collaborate with the communities in which they practice, providing instructional skill sets, tools, and methodologies demonstrating their work. These methodologies are project-based and practical, instructing individuals how to critically examine information and ideas in a cultural context, then explore through art-making skill sets in their own narrative. The Huichol people live along the Sierra Madre Occidental Mountains in the Mexican states of Jalisco and Nayarit. Traditionally, Huicholes thrive in communities called ranchos, where everyone shares life's responsibilities. These ranchos are struck around ceremonial centers and the growing cycles of crops. For the Huicholes, life is rich and prosperous. When the community is healthy, the harvest is successful, and its people are in harmony. The participation of all members of the society fostered this complex social fabric through communal work, prayer, and ritual which maintains a harmony and balance for generations to come. How different this is from an urban society where materialistic gain can seem to be obvious indicator of a successful community? However, 
even the huichol are not immune to the impact of other cultures. Over the years, many huicholes have moved to the cities in search of education, economical support, and medical care for their families. These cities include the capitals of Tepic, Guadalajara, and Mexico City. Archaeological discoveries can place the Huichol people in their current environment for the past 1,600 years. The ancient culture is founded on a strict oral tradition and records its history through storytelling and symbols in their artworks. Also, in the past decade, textbooks have been written in Huichol to be used by the Huichol children in school. All the social knowledge has been passed down from one generation to other through these stories, rituals, ceremonies, and art learned from the elders of the community. Through their artwork, the which all Indians in con and document their spirit and knowledge, writes Susana Valadez. The arts include music, dance, ceremonies, beaded objects, including guard balls or jicaras, embroideries, weaving, and yarn paintings called niericas. A vast number of Huicholes are artist shamans. Shamans are special leaders and healers in the ranchos. They help to restore balance within communities. They begin with healing themselves. This healing is one of the complete being physical, emotional, and intellectual. Next, their immediate circle of family, friends, and neighbors, and ultimately, in healing the earth by restoring balance. The Huichol have a cosmology much like agrarian cultures that predated the Spanish conquest, and his cosmology exists in other parts of the world today. Their rituals include remembrance and honoring their ancestors, commitment and love to their family, friends, and neighbors, respect for the land, and the incorporation of the life cycle in their daily practices, and the importance of the arts to convey moral lessons that benefit self and the community. Which all ceremonies revolve around the planting and harvest of maize, and a special annual pilgrimage to their sacred land of Wirikuta. Only the shaman translate the insights of vision experience on a sacred pilgrimage. These visions are meant to communicate messages directly from the supernatural realm. With the encroachment of modern society, the Huicholes use their art as a commodity. They also use their history as an inspiration in the preservation of their cultural heritage. By bringing to light such rich cultural traditions, we may learn and compare them to our culture and traditions. If necessary, we might adjust practices that might be out of balance personally and place those negative behaviors into harmony within ourselves and our communities. Images of the Wichol people in their homeland had been made available through the photography of Jesse Hendry, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Many of the Wichol cultural resource images are from the New York City American History Museum taken in 1996. These images are copyright and can be downloaded only for education purposes. Supplemental information on the Wichol, not secure in reference literature, was provided by interviews with Judy Anderson in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and most recently with the identified literature. Bilingual Huichol translation of cultural resources incorporated with large informative posters for community display or public exhibitions are written by Reverend Jorge Rodriguez Eger. Thank you for watching the video. It was an honor for me to share one of the ancient cultures from Mexico the Wirarica or Wicholes, 
I hope you learn a lot and create beautiful art. Thank you.